Hi guys, time for some more action with Accrington. We've got a game today against Fulham away from home. Fulham are in 10th, we are currently in 7th. We uh, need to win this game to get back into the playoff places. Um, we've got a, hopefully, an interesting episode. One or two new signings coming in and one or two more departures, hopefully. Um, Milanov is going to be on his way out of the club pretty soon. And we get a 3-1 win in, in this episode. Uh, Basilic made his debut, I put him in, but Keane and Breveo came off the bench to score two goals. One of them was a penalty. So yeah, hopefully um, we've got uh, some more players coming in. Nine new players. Alex Reed crossing is poor, we'll remove him. Uh, David Arondel, nope. Juan Carlos Oviedo, <laughs> striker. Finishing is pretty poor. Uh, Bryn Morris, central midfielder, short passing, ball control, long passing lead. Look, pretty good. Um, what's his wage? That's first of all, 25. We'll scout him. He could be one that we, we look at. A new right back, Brian Lenehan. Crossing, standing tackle. Sliding tackle's a bit poor, we'll leave him for now. Florin Culliver, central midfielder, ball control, yeah. 26 now, I think there's better. Jackson Martinez, I'd love to sign him, but he's going to be on far too much. Uh, Shane Long will be a fantastic signing, but I think well, 35 grand, recently arrived from Southampton, that's a shame. He uh, would have done a pretty, really good job in, uh, in, uh, in the championship for us. Lauren Koscielny, he'd be an ideal player to come in, but 90 grand a week, so there's just no point even uh, even looking at him. So we've got the potential of uh, Arisciata coming in on a free, and I've got uh, one of my scouts looking at a couple of players. Uh, I've got Nari, a right back, and uh, Bagui, the, uh, the left mid from Real Madrid. It's been a while since I've been... Uh, on FIFA, so I've, I can't remember whether I've scouted these guys before, so I'm going to have a quick look at them again. We've got enough time in this transfer window. Um, a match has been rescheduled and put back a couple of days against Borough. Prize money in the FA Cup, 57 grand. Milanov has gone to Norwich for 1.2 million, and we've got a million of that. Gunn has gone to Luton Town, and we've got 50,000 of that. Josh Murphy, a report. And he is a 68 overall. He's 23 years old. Um, Nathan Redmond was the other one. He's 77 and valued at 4.8 million. Well, in quiet, see what Norwich say about that. And Jamie Araschiata is 68 overall. He's 25. So I can potentially get him in as backup on a pre contract, which I may look to do. And. If we can't get Redmond, I may get... Actually, do I want Murphy? How old is Murphy? Murphy's 23. Arisciata's 25. Um, how old is Tamo Hard? I'm actually trying, going to try and potentially sell uh, Kabalos. Uh, Kabalos is 26. Harder is 25. So really... Potentially, Arisciata is no better than Harder. Than, well, if Harder's better, he's rated a couple more. Uh, same as Redmond, so they won't really get a first-team game. Um, Bob Hall was the other guy, wasn't he, from Bolton that I was looking at a while ago. Um, let's see... Midfielders, left mid. We'll do another scout of Bob Hall. Yeah. Who is this guy? Let's scout both of these left mids. Bob Hall's 20 grand a week though. It's the only worry with Bob Hall is he's just too much. So we'll scout the other dude and then we'll see what happens. Game against Blackburn today. I'm going to stick with the same team. We won that last game. It's been a week, so 
plenty of, uh, of rest time. A local derby, not many miles between these clubs. I'd say 10 at max. And uh, let's see what we can do. Brand uh, Blackburn have scored but have conceded in every, well, at least like the last three games. They scored and conceded in this one. Will Inaki Williams came off the bench to put us 1 0 up in the 72nd minute. Marshall missed a penalty in the 73rd, but then Marshall got an equaliser in the 89th minute. So, not, not too bad. Um. Transfer offer for Josh Lowe. I do not want to sell you. Reject. And 12 million for Nathan Redmond. I am thinking we need a. Uh, we do need another left mid. I want to get rid of Kabala, so it could be Arisciata in his slightly lower wage. But then again, Redmond's younger, so you know, uh, not Redmond, Murphy's younger, isn't he? So let's try and get Murphy in. I mean, Jordan Ivey would be the one. In fact, let's scout him and inquire. Yeah, Jordan Ivey could be one to bring in. Crossing is pretty low. Good, yeah, good physicals. Um... 23 days to scout uh, Odelusi, which is a bit of a ball ache, and we don't have that long left in the transfer window. Uh, Josh Rose, how are you getting on with your scouting? So, left midfielders. Um, who did we have on the shortlist? Uh, Zaro is going to cost far too much, so we need to remove him. Redmond is going to cost too much, so we need to remove him. Arasciata and Josh Murphy. I was one I want to inquire, want to look at. 73 max, 68, 71. Arasciata. Uh, his balance, his agility are uh, good. Stamina is poor. That is a very, very big worry. Lloyd Isgrove, can you play left mid? You can play left mid. Your overall is 70. Let's put in a million pound bid for you. Sod it. Let's try and get you and you can play right mid and left mid. Let's see what happens with that one. It would be nice. He's 26 with 70. Uh, Arisciata, I'm going to look to get you on a pre-contract. Just to have backup. It's a free player. It's backup. We can sell others. Murphy. I'm looking at Reds. Askiata, I'm going to remove you from the shot. It's going to be because I actually realistically let's go like this. Lloyd is gross. So acceleration for Murphy, sprint speed, balance, jumping, stamina is better for for um, Lloyd is grove. Um, mental attributes are roughly the same. Ball control slightly better. Crossing is the same. Dribbling, finishing is better for Josh Murphy. Short passing is better for Murphy. Shot power, long shots for Murphy. Murphy's got his age as well. High attacking. Injury prone. You know what, let's go for Murphy. Approach to buy. Uh, I'll go with a million. Let's see what uh, Norwich say to that. I'm going to have to bump a little bit over to wages if Arisciata signs his contract. We're going to have a fair chunk of plays here. I could get um, Lloyd Isgrove in as well. I think it could be, it might be a deal to do, get him in. It's bulking the squad out, it's just squad depth. Um, Norwich want 2.2 .2 million, I think that's a bit too much. I have 1.5. Arisciata, I've seen, has signed a pre-contract. Thank you. Moving down to 25 grand in wages. 
Uh, Lloyd Isgrove, the, the offer is not enough. So let's go 1.25 million. Then that gives us. Look, I can go to 1.5 for him, and, and we'll have to see what happens. I think Murphy is the one to bring up if I'm going to look to to pursue one of them rather than both of them. It's Murphy is the one that needs to be pursued. Man United coming up in the cup. Norwich have accepted. Ooh, 4.2 million from Liverpool said for Jordan Ibe. Press conference not going to do that or Ibe. Uh, Josh Murphy. Four-year deal. Crucial first team player, 10% goal bonus. So that gives me a little bit more. 1.6 for Isgrove. You can have 1.45. And then I need a little bit moving over for wages so I can sign both of these guys. And then that's everything done. It sort of leaves me a bit shafted for money for... Um, uh, youth players, but we have a good enough youth youth intake at present. And yes, youth right now for us isn't really an option. Uh, Lloyd is going con is okay. So first thing to do is get Murphy in. Accept that it gives me one point four million and twenty grand to play with. So I'm happy with that. I don't want. I'm not too worried about uh, Lloyd's Grove. We have Murphy. If I sell a player, we have a final report on Nari. This was a right back. Sixty-seven overall. Um, right, so he's 67 overall. Who do I have that can play right back? Well, sorry guys, just looking outside and seeing the snow is absolutely bombing it down. Right, Winter can play right back. Um, Friedrich. Can you play? You can play right back. Can Friedrich? Dale can play left back. Gale can play right back. So, I don't, you know what? Sorry, I don't need a centre back. Go right back even. We've got, we've got Weissmeyer that can play at the back as well. We have enough. Um, youth staff. We've got 1.4 million. I could potentially hire a new youth staff. 3 and 3. Gashi. You know what? Sod it. I'm not buying anyone else. We've got players coming in on pre contracts. We'll concentrate on youth. I can move some of this budget back over and give me say ten grand a week for for new players. That's ten grand. Well, if I actually, actually if I'm thinking about it, five if it's five hundred and fifty pounds a week, then ten players is five thousand five hundred. Twenty players is eleven thousand. That leaves me eight hundred thousand signing on fees. Sod it. That will do us nicely. Let's get in. As Rodrigo has moved to Spurs for 18.5 million, I'm sure he's a left back. Um, no other deals to be done as of yet. Let's actually look down. Accrington, what have we done here? Let's have a look. Bolton, Blackburn, Birmingham. Accrington, players in 4 million, players out 7.5 million. Interesting. But we have a couple, I mean we have Baker and we have Arisciata both coming in on pre-contract. So we are we are looking to be set for the next season. No other players really need, are going to be leaving. Maybe Braveo as obviously he says he's seen that he's concentrating on his football, but he may want to leave. Hopefully we can cash in and get money, a lot of money for him. Josh Lowe is a player I am not going to be selling to save my life. He's 75 rated and he's 18 years of age. He will not be sold unless I get 25 million minimum for him. But I will only sell him in the summer transfer window. I will not sell him ever in this January transfer window unless 
I have an adequate backup in there and as right now I have no adequate backup. Do have a couple of keepers in the um, youth system. Youth squad report. A lot of left midfielder here. Anton Salic is going to be uh, pretty good next season. Your own Husing. Somewhere down the right, potential to be pretty good. Jarrell DeWitt, between 78 and 94. There's one keeper. Patrick Tinnerholm, central midfielder. He's over right now. He's pretty worrying. But here's the guy, Robin Olmero. Between 59 and 63 right now, and his potential between 88 and 94. He's 17, so he may come to say he wants to leave, which means we're going to have to sign him up. But hopefully we can just leave him there for the time being. One for the future, Josh Lowe from Accrington. Wales have offered me a job. Rejects. I'd love to take it, but I'm concentrating just on Accrington. My, ah, Wilhelm has given me a report. 71 max, no. 81 max, no. 70 max, no. 71, no. 94, Peter Creepers. Sign him up. 84 max, no. 76, 92 max. Vessel de Witt. You know what, let's sign Sim Duarte up for the time being. Player scouted further. Gashi has arrived and is ready to go. Where shall we send him out to? Well, first of all, where are my other stuff? Vilkham, you're in Holland. And Ryan Dallas, where are you? We're in France. Ooh, 94 max. Another 94 max. Remy Dump. Sign him up. Um, right, so we've got one in Holland, one in France. Let's go to Germany. I'll set it up for nine months whilst we've got the cash. Same team that has got us four points in the league so far. Man United away from home. What sort of team are they putting out? We'll have a quick look. They've drawn with Spurs twice in the last two games. I assume that's potentially Capital One Cup because it's February. So, here we go. Man United have Lindegaard, Raphael, Evans, Smalling, Shaw, Blind, Anderson, Fellaini, Powell, uh, Mosvoisen, Rooney, De Gea, Jones, Royce, Van Persie, Rojo, Di Maria and Hernandez. Van Persie still there in 2019. And it's 3-0 Man United and it ends 4-1. At least we scored. Rooney with two, Shaw with one, Smalling with one and Basilic with LA Consolation goal. Uh, match rescheduled, Middlesbrough. Dale out for seven days. Okay, Nick Ross wants a bit more playtime. We'll uh, see if we can find him a bat and ball to play with. Otherwise, tournament prize money is about, about 70 grand, I think, this tournament prize money. Shouldn't be much. Final report on Bryn Morris. 71 rated. Add him to the shortlist. 10 days remaining. Wow. Ooh, this guy, this uh, Aluasami Adelisu has amazing physicals. And you look at that and you think, please, when we turn over the page, have good other stats. But, pile of shite. Can move from shortlist. Jordan I not looking too bad, but 4.2 million is a bit too much, but we'll keep our eye on him, depending on what the board give us next season. Bournemouth game has been rescheduled, and 76 grand from the board for uh, FA Cup exploits. Right, um, we need to make a change, don't we? Actually, we're going to make a couple of changes. Dow out, and Drury in, Harder out, Murphy in, Is Carondo out, let's have Ross in. Seeger out, Breveo in, Dale out, Winter in. 
that will do nicely. Trying to rotate the players a bit more now, I think. Give everyone a nice little, uh, a little bit of a boost. So we need a boost ourselves to get back to winning form. It's which have lost two of their last three. They've only scored two goals in the three games they've conceded in every game. Conceding this one, they do score, but Keane and Brevea with the goals, and that's a 2-1 win, which is uh, all nice. And now Borough coming up as a player returns from injury. And who returns from injury? It's uh, Derek has returned to give the uh, defence a timely boost. But they don't really need one, I'd say. Right, we need to make some changes, so let's go Seeger, Inaki Williams. On the right we'll go Dow, central midfield, Vizcarondo and Alutza. On the right, well, on the left, sorry, we'll go harder. Um, wow, centre-backs, uh, defenders, we're struggling. Weissmeyer, no one can really play right. You know what, let's leave it like that. On the bench, anyone that can come up. Westerberg, no. Alberg, let's put you up there instead of Drury. Kabalos, let's have you on there instead of Keane. I was looking at having fit players on the bench, that's all really. Just in case anything, and we need to make any changes, then uh, yeah, that will sort us out nicely. So, Borough away from home, unbeaten in their last three. Can they be beaten today? It would be nice to keep them in. Even, even a draw away at Borough is a good result. <laughs> 2 0 win, even better. Seager and Vizcarondo. Yeah, seeing a draw would be a good result, but well, now well, Leeds coming up. Another tough game. Paraguayan international management job opportunity is a reject. Uh, Dallas, what do you have? 71, 70, 69, 73, 87. Mm. Take a player out. Who can come out of my youth squad? 78, 77. So there's bound to be some. 81. There's two guys up here, weren't there? 77 and 78. Release youth player, thank you. Lasovic, release you. 81 for Larson. I want to keep my eye on him. 81, no one else in the 70s right now. Oh wow. Vout say, Mac, you know what? Sod it, let's release you. Um, 87, Max Jonathan, thank you. 82. 83, 88. Let's just scout them all further. We've got time. We've only got a couple of slots left. Right. Time for a team change. Breveo and Keane in. Harder out. Murphy in. Gale for Dale. It's Carondo, Palasic. Um. Let's have Drury there. I'll go to lots of Nick Ross. That will do. So from one tough game, Borough, to another tough game in Leeds. Another away game as well. Interesting Leeds uh, score but concede in every game. 1-1 one, one draw, 1-1 one loss, one of their last three. Also, so. A draw again here will be a good result. Well, a draw is what we get. Ross with the goal and Bianchi with the equaliser. Riveo saying thanks. What for? You enjoying your football? Well, freaking stay with the club then. Right, contracts. One, two, three, four, five players are out of contract at the end of next season. Vesterberg, I'm not worried about. Cabalas, I'm trying to sell. Winter, how old are you? 25. You're a good cover player. You want two years. Crucial. Let's offer you that contract. 
a lot, sir. I want to sign you up if I can. Three years. Let's give you 2,250. You can be an important first team player. Screw a donate. What do you want? You don't want much extra. So I'll sign you up. I think you're going to be, as your role, a squad rotation player. And I'm happy with that. It just allows me... Just I want to have a nice squad depth and someone like Skudoni. Yes, they won't play every game, but they are going to be they're going to be useful in stretch games and maybe cup games. Put him in the team alongside. Um, who am I thinking? I could put him in it. There's some kind of someone like Palacic or Bacon next season. So, or Viz and you don't have to worry about who you have there. Needs a rest or vice Maya. I do need to look at a new, another centre back. I think. Well, actually, we've got Derek, who's still coming back from injury. But we do have him. So I suppose left back. We've got an, a Dale and um, Gale. Right back, we've got Gamming, so we've got Winter, but maybe a, a, a right back, unless we can, damn it, a 1 0 defeat. Um, well, yeah, maybe unless we can pick up a good youth right back, that would be that would be nice. Skill donate and Alutso accepted those contracts. Border pissed off about the last match, and Alex Winter is suspended for one game. Not too bad. How long left? in the month, uh, about a week left in February. I'll get February completed and potentially do a squad report, depending if we get, have any games, but it looks like it's an international break. So, not much going on. Wolves is our first game in March. February, in March, 2019. Wow, feels like a long way away. Reveo favours move to Aston Villa. Well, if Aston Villa want to cough up the cash, they can have him. Uh, Winter has accepted. Update from England. Training injury. Fuck. Palisic out with an ACL. Right. A report. 92 max. This left mid so is going to be pretty good. Larson could be good on the left mid as well. A right-sided forward in Jerome Huzik could be quite good. Um, a keeper, Joy De Witt, looks to be really good. Patrick Tinnerholm, 81 max. You know what? Release. Um, 79 max. Release the keeper. I've got other keepers. 81 max for Bleem. We'll keep our eye on him. Uh, Thambia, we'll keep our eye on him. 94 max for Keepers. Omero. I'm going to really look forward to getting you some potential game time or loaning you out. Uh, Remy Dump. Mm, interesting. Looks like he's going to be a, a, a player down the middle somewhere. Ball control, acceleration, dribbling, short passing and freaky accuracy. You'd say he's going to potentially be a central midfielder with uh, those of his main strengths. Duarte, keeper, release. Uh, rim rink. Not. Bad and Vessel de Witt. Strength interception, sliding tackle, sliding tackle, slide. So he's going to be a descent looking at that, a central defensive midfielder. And Vilkham has a monthly report 70 max, 77, 68, 74, 91 max. Martin van Beek or Beek. Sign him up. 94 max for another keeper, Mikhail Callon, yes. 69 max, 74 max. Scalp the rest further. Gashi, what have you got? 75, 93 max, 84 max. Let's, he was, had, it was 69 to 93, so that could dip anywhere. Let's do a quick squad report and then we'll call it a day. Shown interest by Monaco, Nuremberg and Sociedad for Josh Lowe. Goalkeeping stats haven't really gone up that much, but he's only uh, he's just turned 19 actually because he was 18, and his physicals are going up, which is good. Winter hasn't moved. Friedrich is up two. It looks to be a fantastic signing. Weissmeier is up three to a 71. Dale up two to a 69. Dow up two to 73. 
Uh, Palacic's not moved. Vizca Rondo hasn't moved. I'm slightly gutted about that. Tam Ohada not really moved as well. Will Keane's at 1 to a 69. Inaki Williams up 2 to a 62. Cabalos not moved. We need to ship him out. Alberg up 4 to a 64. We're going to try and make him a permanent signing, I think. Uh, Manatis, the young keeper, is on the move up to a 60. Alutz are up 3 to a 73. Seeger hasn't moved the CDM. I may look to move him on. Uh, Gamin up 3 to a 73. Seeger up 1 to a 71. Scudoni up 2 to a 69. Brevail up 1 to a 73. Gale up 1 to a 74. Vesterberg up 2 to a 54. Derek up 2 to a 76. Value at 4.5 million. Murphy up 1 to a 69. Drury up 1 to a 70. Nick Ross up 2 to a 70. A phobe is out on loan. He's up two, to, so it's four to a sixty-four. We may have to try and. I think we'll look to sell him, as we uh, we have other keepers coming through. Elliot Armstrong up three to a seventy, a sixty-seven even. Manessis up three to a sixty-seven, and that's it, guys. Squad report all done, and I'll catch you all in the next episode where we will hopefully get the season finished. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>